I got this game set up eventually. All right. Choose a curse. <laughs> Most damage enemy at the end of the turn at self heal two. Top three are poisoned. They'll take one damage a turn. At the end of every second turn, two damage to all allies. Or the first spell you cast each fight casts plus two mana. Um... Let's take the poison. Surely that won't be a problem, right? All right, it's gonna make me do the tutorial. What if I skip the tutorial because I already know how to do these things? So it's, uh, it's Yahtzee. The game is Yahtzee. What does this one mean? Reduce all damage taken by one. Okay. Would I like my fighter to become a collector? Copy this onto all allied sides this turn. It doesn't seem good. Or do I want my healer to become a druid? I have a couple sides to get stronger this fight. You can negate poison. I should probably take this. Hello, Surreal Memoir. Hi. Should I be explaining what's going on? Or does just saying it's Yahtzee suffice? do cleave one damage all right I don't really care I want to use this to heal this character out of range of death and other than that it doesn't really matter what I do should be able to get five, uh, three damage here pretty easily Okay, would I like a copper ring, which gives one empty max HP and one maximum stored mana, or, <laughs> I trail, or would I like worn arms, replace the top and bottom sides with these things? Well, the defender's top and bottom sides are terrible, as are the fighters, as are the thieves. So this seems like it could be pretty useful. I will be throwing uh, this onto the thief who has empty sides that are now not empty. Also hits below the target. Okay. So these things are in the back, which means I can't hit them yet. So these attacks always have to go into this unit. And then I can shield this one to prevent it from dying. And use the burst to kill this. Probably 
don't do that in that order, but that's fine. Now this turn I should be able to kill both of these, barring bad rolls. Okay, but I like my thief to become a rogue. Cantrip activates during rolling if it lands face up. So you get to use it and then roll another. Or inflict poison. Or do I want my mage to become a myco? Which has some growing things, some decaying things, and a resurrect. Hello, left sir. But if you revive a character during the fight, they come back with half health for the next one. So you still don't want them dying. Honestly, I think I'm about the rogue. And then I just throw this weapon that I had on that onto like the fighter instead. Okay, I'll poison something. This clears up poison, so that's cool. Take some damage, take some mana, and then just roll. You can become poisoned. You can become not poisoned. Then let's just block, block some damage, throw some damage here, throw some... Actually, probably just save that mana. You can save it across turns up to a point. Okay. This does extra if they're less than half HP. It's not really all that useful. Can heal out of poison. I think I want to take the shield for sure and the mana for sure. Probably take this. And then let's just see what it gives me. Okay. Become not dead. Become not dead. And let me... Kill this. And I'll also... Just hit you for one damage. Does it make sense what's happening? Also, should my camera be somewhere else? Probably, right? I'll just put it over the done button. That's mana, shield. Don't really need another poison. Let's take a an attack. This deals double if they're less than half. So I can set this to be less than half health. And then deal double damage to it. Now it should die to poison. Or I can... This will deal one damage to all and heal one of all of mine. Deal one to enemies, heal one to friendlies. Keeps you alive, kills the other thing. And then you can get shielded too. So everything gets full health start of next fight. Um, except if it dies, it comes back with half health. So my goal is doesn't matter how much damage I take as long as my stuff stays alive. Add a single use and plus one for the two right sides. Or place the middle side with plus two mana. Okay, so I don't want that. I could take random. 
Can we see if there's anyone who wants plus one on the right two sides that much? Not really. Just give me a random item. Big hammer. Replace the two left sides with five damage. Heavy and blank. Okay. Does anyone actually want that? Eh, you can take it, I guess. So usually I mostly just ignore what the enemies are going to do to me. I hope we're all okay with that. Because if you find yourself thinking, I don't know what these enemy attacks are about to do, that's okay. I don't either because I didn't read them. I could know what they're going to do by doing that. Or I could just make my plays in a vacuum. I will check what this means. Plus one to all sides this fight when I take out that square part of their health. I think I'm going to use the flare to kill this goblin then. And then shield up and not attack with this because I don't want them. Well, I can take out this health and then the poison will take out the thing that buffs them. Next time. Hi, Scarbo. Let's go with that. I, I always love a good two mana. I like a good shield that grows. Um, yeah, more poison, sure. And I'm stuck with those. Okay. So we throw the hits in. Shield the fighter, I guess. And I can save the mana. And now I just kill them this turn. What are these pluses? Oh, they've been buffed because I did the thing that buffs them. Eh, this is enough damage. Doesn't matter. Let's just take whatever. Okay. Do I want my fighter to become a gladiator? Two times versus targets on full HP. A shield and sword combo. Do we want Glacier? We got a shield and mana combo, and then this weakens the enemy. All right, what's my fighter looking like? I think I just take this gladiator over the fighter, but then what do I do with this hammer? And also this thing. So you can take those. Just replace their top and bottom sides with better items, better stuff. Do I want to give the big hammer to anybody? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just not use it. Shocked you're not playing the HFT patch. I will play it. But yesterday I told, uh, I told Wakuki I was going to play this game and then I didn't. So now I'm playing it. Um, but I plan to play both Dome Keeper and HFT as well tonight. It'll be a little of each. Dome Keeper also had a patch, but I can't tell if it actually changed anything beyond what it said in the patch notes or not. Like, nothing in the patch notes make it sound like there's balance changes to the material deposits, but I played a little bit, and it kind of seems like there is. But also, I could be just making that up. So this thing can only take one damage at a time. But that's okay, because it's dead now. Heal 10 single use, or add growth to the rightmost side, gets plus one this fight after use. I have a lot of empty rightmost sides, so it's kind of completely useless. Or I could take two random tier two items. Honestly, give me the random tier two items. 
blank sides get replaced with plus one mana. It's better than nothing, I guess. And uh, more cantrip daggers. Honestly, let's give our mage some daggers and keep going on. Game seems to have your favorite thing, consumables. Not really. It has equipment. But it doesn't get consumed. Yeah, the Domekeeper patch does fix a bug that crashed my game a couple of times. So that's nice that it's fixed. Okay, so we need to shield you and you a bit. And then just throw some damage into... What does the two mean? Please, if an adjacent monster is overkilled by two or more. So the plan is just to overkill the snake next turn. And then the bandits will both run away. So... This will do it, because this does double damage if they're under half health. So this should hit for four, and then they run away. Cantrip. Yeah, that just means it does something when it lands on that side, even if you don't use the die. So you can, like, roll it again. Anyway. Warden in for Defender is a little bit better. Or Seer in for Mage. Plus three mana single use. You're a poison single use. Growth. Um, I think I'll just take the Warden as a slight upgrade on my Defender. And then does this want to go anywhere? Basically, it's just do I want to replace this sword right here with a shield? Nah. I'll just hold on to it. Yeah, so cantrip in this game meaning activates during rolling if it lands face up. So it just hits a random unit for one if you roll it. Like that. No, I didn't mean to... Ah. <laughs> Just one of those two. Yeah, it's not the same as cantrip magic, but... But also cantrip isn't a real word anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, this slime queen is gonna be dead soon. Yeah, this splits into slimers, which then split into smaller slimes. What do you do? You grow after each use? That seems useful. Pokemon Sword and Shield, and then we got these things. So this will kill you. We can take out this one, and then Flare, or actually I'll just use the Burst twice to kill these. Stop attacking my mage. Alright, what do you do? Extra damage on full HP. Double damage, but it only does one to begin with. It's kind of still trash. So, that should kill you. So let's go with that. And then I can use the mana to shoot these. 
Okay. So wooden crate in Banjo-Kazooie that has two wooden crates in it. Ad infinitum. Oh no. Plus center equal to two heroes plus five. Plus five to all sides if there are two or fewer living heroes. That, I really don't want to be in that situation. Shield two growth and one mana growth on the right sides. I mean, that's just good. That's just good. And I can put it uh, pretty much wherever and it'll be good. Uh, you take that and you take that, I guess. Okay, what's the plan? So the bones deal damage to adjacent friendlies. Dice if it takes four or more damage in a single attack. Okay. Flare does five damage. And I also have another attack on the gladiator, I think. Ah, eh, whatever. I'll I'll probably not be one hit KOing that. Instead I'll just take out some other stuff. So get bones. Get bones. Die die. Just kill some bones. And then I can't burst this, right? Because it's in the back row. All right. Your health is red and green dots that are the same shape. So the, the green ones are how much poison damage I'm taking, which would normally be pretty rare. But I took a curse at the start of this run that causes me to start each combat poisoned. So... The yellow dots are incoming damage, and then there's empty ones. So this will kill you, and then uh, this will kill you. What do I want? Both are mage upgrades. I've kind of already upgraded my mage with items, which makes me not really want to take either of these. But what's your deal? Also gain one mana attacking. After you use this side, replace it with oh it's a single use. Cruel two damage targets less. Blah, 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 blah. I mean three damage is pretty good. I could keep my twin daggers and I could keep uh terrarium and then it really only changes the left side and gives me plus two max HP. I think that's fine. Yeah, I don't think they have like a colorblind option, unfortunately. What do you do? Dodge all enemy attacks slash effects. I mean, you are taking a million damage this turn, so might as well. So many games don't. Seems odd. So these fanatics deal self damage. What do you do? If I attack you, I take damage. So I guess I just kill some bones.
What's the yellow? Yellow is incoming damage. Green is incoming poison damage. Hear the cantrip. So this also has a shield effect on it, so you can get shielded. And then probably I should have done this first, but let's kill the bones. And then poke this fanatic, I guess. Who are you attacking? You. You're attacking you. All right, this'll kill something. This'll kill something. Uh, this should just be enough damage to kill everything. Is absolutely not. Why did I think it was? All right, I gotta undo this turn. <laughs> Okay. This is enough to kill two of them, and then I need one more point of damage. That'll do it. What does Scald do? Two damage to all damaged enemies? All right. Didn't realize I had that. That's from changing my mage into a Kaldara. Okay. Shining Bow. Add ranged to all damage sides. Or Beam, which is a s new spell that I could cast. Costs 5 mana, 7 damage, single cast range. Both of these seem really good. I think I'm gonna take the beam. <laughs> I have to equip it to somebody. I mean, it doesn't really matter who I give it to. It kinda does because if the character dies in combat, then you can't cast it anymore. This is just a deal three single use with cruel double damage if they're on half HP or less. I could probably do something with that. This heals poison. And that's just a dodge. Okay, sure. What does this mean? Become immune to damage this turn. Ah. And this I can stun. It's in the back row. All right, I wasn't paying close enough attention here, clearly, but let's just go ahead and heal some poison. It's immune, but this also has a shield attached to it, so I might as well try to use it. Pew pew. So I should be able to kill these ghosts this turn. What's your deal? Extra damage to full health. So just take the two damage and reroll these. Okay, so you can die. You can die. And then we poke two things. I mean, one thing twice. And then shoot this for two damage. And now we should be winning. Yep. 
You can die having the time of your life. True. Okay, do I want a witch or a weaver? Three mana single use, three mana not single use. Dodge. Crush. Three damage flanking, that's pretty good. Plus zero mana, bonus equal to your current mana. So it just doubles what you have. The, the problem I have with that is that my Kaldar is already really good. So I guess I take the, the witch here. Gives me just a heal too. And then that has unequipped my replace blank sides. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. So now I have a, a one mana heal too. If I want to use that, let's take this shield. Let's take this plus three. Okay, start by taking the mana because there's no point in not doing that. What's your deal? Plague, all heroes get minus one max HP at the end of each turn. Yikes. Get poisoned, I guess. And then I start smacking these boneses. Use this to kill this. And then probably just chill. Poison. Poison cleave. I will take some mana. Probably want to take this and this because they're just some of the better sides that I have. And then I can hit you with a deal seven. I'm just going to do that without thinking about it and just assume it's the right play. And okay. There might have been a way to do this that makes my rogue not die, but my rogue's gonna die, and let's just accept that. Big shield. Maybe I should just be looking for damage exclusively. Anyway, you're dead. And you're dead. At single use and plus two to the left side. It's kind of nuts. Or add focus to all heal slash self heal. Times two to the target that's previously used dice this turn. Hmm. So this targets the left side. Who has a good left side? So I can just make this four damage times two, so eight to full HP targets. That seems really good. And then just only ever use it on full HP targets, I guess. Oh, right. My cantrips kind of make that less of a common thing. This is not the buffed one. Anyway, I will 
take my four mana. Get shielded, get shielded, get poisoned. This heals itself and then this gets stunned when it's half dead. You can only keep three mana. All right, in that case, I choose to defend for two. This is my deal eight. I'm just going to reroll these just to see. So take eight and get stunned. Now you get poisoned. You get shielded and healed. You get shielded, you get healed. And you get healed. It's a really good heal. I'm realizing that now. It's like a really good heal. Okay, that'll deal four. That's mana. Take a bunch of healing, take a deal two, and a do nothing. So this is dead. You can get healed, and then pass. Might as well. So it might have not made much sense to start out attacking the uh, enemy that has regeneration, but now that we've dealt with the other one, it shouldn't be too bad. I realize I say that like, wow, four of my characters are at risk of dying currently. But hey, now none of them are dying. I want this to be called Wicked Stab, but it's just too damage cruel because things in this game don't have names like Wicked Stab. It doesn't work that way. All right, a veteran has just got like a lot of damage on it. That's just like really good. Or Paladin, some very nice heals. All right. The only problem is if I take this veteran, I lose my eight damage to full health enemies type thing. But I could just throw it on the rogue instead. Okay. So now the rogue has an eight damage to half or less health, which is admittedly less appealing. What do you do? Target gets plus one to all sides this turn. I probably don't need to use that. Get shielded, get shielded. It's your deal, you reduce damage by one, it's not gonna help you. And now get poked, I guess. You run away if a monster is overkilled by two or more. That is not possible as this thing takes one damage at a time, but gets scalded. Now 
I uh, probably should have taken this, but here it is anyway. I got some kind of achievement. Let's take this and this. Okay. Start out by just killing this. Just make it dead. You can become dead. Hmm. Well. What if we just accept that Warden is dying? There's one approach. Just let it die. All right, now I just need to poke this thing three times. Let it die is my favorite frozen bootleg song. That's fair. Place the rightmost side with shield one to all allies cantrip. That seems phenomenal. I will be taking that. The other thing was pretty good too, but like this is considerably better. I'll throw it on the warden. What does this mean? Inflicted pain. Add pain to all sides next turn incoming. All right. I don't want that to happen, really. All right. Let's take the poison dagger and then just do some rerolls. You're not ranged, right? This attack is not ranged. This demon can be poisoned. This demon can get hit a few times. Oh. On hit, deal six damage. Okay, yeah, so I'm not going to really worry about that. Kills off my own caldera to kill that, but it's going to be pretty hard to not have a unit die to six damage in response. To... Let's go flute. Caldera, more like Caldeda. That's true. It is more like that. Alright, no reason to poke this right now. Save the mana. It's enough to kill you. I just need three more. When really, I just need one more, actually. Because I have uh, the burst. Okay, assassin or artificer. Do you use this side? Replace it with a blank this fight. That's why am I reading the definition of single use again? I know what single use does. It's a deal three, heal three. That's what that is. Single use heal 10 
That's four mana single use. This kind of just feels like sick. Plus two damage to all enemies. My assassin, my rogue, I'm pretty happy with. So let's probably just take the artificer here. And then I have to figure out what I'm doing with these items, if anything. All right, these sides are not that impressive anymore. What about this? The cantrip sides. I honestly prefer them to the rogue's poisons. Rogue can just become full-on cantrip central for all I care. Anyway, I have to fight a troll king now. Just plus four mana, single use. That's what this is, right? Yes. Okay, seems good. Okay, I can kill this thing just by poking it a bunch of times. That keeps my artificer alive. You are stomping on me. Okay, understandable. A lot of these monsters like showing feet. Yeah, I mean, who am I to disagree? It's a five damage cleave. I probably want this. I maybe want this heal 10 also. Yo. Okay. You get shielded for no benefit. You get healed. Oh, did I spend that whole turn healing? All right. I like the flute sound effects too. It sounds just like a real flute. You're a deal three, heal three. So that'll keep you from dying. All right, my witch always dies here. Even if I heal and shield. Seems pretty good. Two damage, poison, single use. Yeah, it seems good enough. So there's something unfortunate happening here, which is that like everything is dying and my unit that allows me to heal for cheap has also died. So I'm going to go down to one unit here. I'll still win the fight, but that means the next fight I go in with a bunch of half health units. So it's not ideal. Add vulnerable. Target takes plus N damage from dice and spells this turn. Where N is the value of the thing. I guess. Enhance one. Replace the top side with shield one single use perma boost. Target gets plus one to all sides this fight. Or a random tier eight item. Honestly, give me a random tier eight item. Scorpion Tail. Add Weaken and Pain to the top and bottom sides. Target get minus N sides to all turn, but you take N damage. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really get what the ramifications of that are. What if I... Do the most meme possible, which is to throw it on the cantrips. Does it not work that way? Oh, maybe it does, but I just have to order it like that. Do the modifications work on the cantrips? Yeah, that's what I don't know. Put 
but if so, I just made the rogue hurt itself, which is probably not a smart approach. Yeah, the rogue does self damage now. Probably I shouldn't have done that, but it is the funniest approach. Okay. You can be poisoned. You're alive now. They do thank you if they were going to die, but then now they don't. Are we playing dice while our dome is under attack? My dome's not under attack right now. You don't have to worry about that. I've got at least three more beeps. All right. My rogue just killed itself. That... I would say, like, who could have ever seen this coming? That's what I would say about that. Thank you, flute. All right, I probably just kill this fanatic here. Maybe not. What was the fanatic even attacking? Oh, you? Okay, yeah, I probably should kill it. Um, okay, I'm dying. I'm not going to win this fight. blank weaken neither of those is really going to cut it okay so you both get healed doesn't actually matter I can deal two damage to all enemies also doesn't matter the only thing I can do that keeps me alive is to Double shield the artificer, but then I just always lose next turn no matter what. But let's pretend to play it out. All right, it's a two damage. I've died. Reached level 17 out of 20. That doesn't seem too bad. For my first time playing not the free trial. Yeah, the demo is the first 12 levels, so I've beaten that much before. But not uh, the 20. 